hello friends today we are going to learn about analysis of algorithm and here we will learn about some logarithmic time complexity okay so we will learn about one of the most common algorithm for searching known as binary search okay so in binary search you are given array of numbers okay so we are given numbers a1 a2 a3 a4 till a of n a n and this is the property that it is in ascending order or descending order okay so binary search what we need to do so it is sorted the sequence is already sorted sequence is sorted and we need to search the element in it okay so in binary search the basic idea is if we have let's say some array okay so a1 a2 a3 till a n and let us represent it by an array okay so this is an array which has all those numbers so what we do so we try to find the middle element okay so whichever is the middle element and then so let's say mid so this is the first index of the number this is the last index so i find the mid okay is equal to i plus j by 2 and then what i can do so i have a key that i need to find and what happens so if if what happens this array is a if a of mid i check if it is less than key so what happens this means that a mid is less than key so because this is in ascending order so it means if a mid this number is less than key which we are searching our number will be found in this part of the array only and i can discard this part okay now i will just search in mid plus 1 to till the end okay now again what i do so this becomes my new i and again i try to find this one the mid is again equal to i plus j by 2 so somewhere i come here and if what happens if a of mid is greater than key so it means what this is greater than the key we are searching so it will be now found in this part okay so this again means i am discarding the rest of the numbers so every time you see like this we are discarding half of the number so this is binary search and in recursively we have the code like this so binary search tree is there which has the property that its left child the key of left child is less than key of parent and key of right child is greater than the key of parent okay if we are assuming that all the numbers in the array are dis are distinct okay so this is the case so all the elements in the left sub tree are less than the node and all the elements in the right sub tree are greater than the node okay so that's property we can see so this is a bst and now to search that what we do bst x comma k so x is equal to some node we pass and k is the key that we are searching okay so the key that we are going to search okay so if x is nil if x uh, we are going through and searching in the tree and we find that we have come to a null node or if the key is of that node is equal to the item that we are searching then i will return x okay so it tells us that okay if i find the key i will return that node otherwise if it is null then i will return null which means i have not found that element okay else what we do if it's not the case if key is if the k that i am going to search is less than key of x the element in node x then what we do it means so if k is less than key of x it means it needs has to be in the 
left subtree because of the property of BST that all the elements in the left subtree are less than the parent parent node. Okay, so if k is less than k of x, so I will search now in BST search left of x comma k. Otherwise, if k is what happens the rest of the cases k is greater than k of x, so I will search in the right subtree of x. Okay, so this is just a uh, preview or review of binary search but now our main aim here is to analyze this algorithm okay now we see most of the algorithms we have for analysis so they will be something like having recursion they will be using recursion or something like that okay so to analyze that we cannot directly analyze here because in this we are calling the same function again so it's not a simple algorithm so what happens so let us now define so tn let us say that okay tn is the number of comparisons made to search and a key okay so tn is number of comparisons needed to search okay search a key so each time we remove so what happens now each time we saw here that we if we are let's say in this binary search tree if we are searching 35 so we find that okay 35 is less than root 40 so i will search in this part of the subtree and i will remove this half of the part okay this part is only left then again what i find this is 20 now 35 is greater than 20 so i will discard this part and only search here again what happens i am discarding half of the elements of the subtree and this way now 35 it's greater than 30 so i will discard this part i come to 35 and this is equal so this is my searched element so now we see that every time we are discarding half of the elements or n by 2 elements so if the number of comparison needed for searching among n elements is t of n then what happens with this call bst search left of x comma k so we will be just searching in t of n by 2 okay and if it is on the right so we will be searching uh, on average t n by 2 okay so this is the case then what happens so we can write a recurrence relation that okay t of n so we only either search this or this one we don't do in both of them we only search in one of them so this is equal to t of n by 2 plus what so one line this will be executed one let's say this is c1 into 1 and then what happens this line also so this will be executed for sure if this is not true then it comes here so this will be executed so this is also c2 let's say c1 into c2 okay and then either of these so it will be c1 plus c2 okay so this is tn is equal to tn by 2 plus c1 plus c2 which is again a constant c i can take this one okay so this is the recurrence so tn is tn by 2 plus c okay and to solve this so let's say that this is 2 in our example okay so to solve this now we can just extend this so we will learn about this also that this is a recurrence relation okay so this is called recurrence relation and how we solve it so we can make it like this is now tn is tn by 2 plus c or 2 okay so then i can say that okay tn by 2 similarly i can write and i have taken n is 2 to the power of k okay, just for simplicity so tn by 2 is tn is now replaced by n by 2 so n by 2 will be replaced by n by 4 plus 2 so this is t of n by 4 plus 2 plus 2 so this is 2 plus this is now replaced by tn by 8 and tn by 8 plus 2 okay plus 2 plus 2 so which becomes tn by 
2 to the power of 4 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 1 2 more will be added so this is 4 times 2 okay so this way if you keep on going so this will come finally will become what n is so 2 to the power of k it will become so this is equal to t of n by 2 to the power of k plus k into 2 okay and n by 2 to the power of k because n is 2 to the power of k so this is t of 1 plus 2k so what it becomes so we finally get t n is t of 1 plus 2k okay plus 2k so t1 means what if i have just one element for searching that it will be constant so let's say it is 1 or c1 plus 2 and k is what k from here is k is log of n to the base 2 okay so this is very important so this becomes c1 plus twice log of n to the base 2 so that's the running time of this algorithm so this is o of log of n okay so this algorithm is o of log n so binary search is o of log n to the base 2 so i hope you understand the concept and how to analyze uh, algorithms that use divide and conquer so this was an example of divide and conquer okay so this was about binary search and its analysis and we saw that it runs in o of log n time so we saw that okay how to solve recurrence relation also so i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video please subscribe to my youtube channel